Hey everyone, welcome to the National Cowgirl Museum's Craft Corral. My name is Hannah Wilson. I'm the Education Coordinator at the Cowgirl Museum. So once a week, we are going to make a craft inspired by one of our Cowgirl honorees or award winners. Today, we are looking at 1991 Cowgirl honoree, Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe is hugely influential and a very famous modern artist of the 20th century. She's best known for her very close up, in-depth paintings of flowers, as well as skyscrapers and the New Mexico landscapes and deserts. We are looking at a 1927 painting called Oriental Poppies. It's a painting of two large red oriental poppies very, very close up. George O'Keefe is quoted saying that she wishes people would take time and slow down and to see flowers the way that she sees them. So today we are going to do just that with our craft of making coffee filter oriental poppies. You're going to need four to five coffee filters, two paper plates, some scissors, red and yellow food coloring, glue, you can just use a normal squeezy tube of glue or a glue stick, a cup, I have just a cup for my cabinet, but feel free to use a plastic cup. You'll need a little tub. I just have a plastic tub that I don't mind if it gets stained. Some scrap construction paper. I have black for the inside of the poppy. And then if you want yours to stand up in a vase like mine, you will need some pipe cleaners and a hole punch. All right, let's get started. For our next step, I have put down my plastic container with a little bit of water, maybe one eighth of the way up. And I have my food coloring here. And then you can see I've put down a paper plate with my glass sitting lip down. And that's important for uh, the drying process. So next, I'm gonna take my red food coloring and put in about 20 drops. If you don't have that much food coloring, feel free to do 10 to 15. All right, that looks nice. And now I'm going to add in a little bit of yellow. This yellow will help the red be a bit more orange to match the photo that we're trying to mimic. Georgia O'Keeffe's flowers. All right, now that looks like a really nice color to me. So for the next step, the fun part, we are going to hold our coffee filter like this, where our fingers are holding the point and the ruffle edge is at the bottom. And we are going to dunk our coffee filter into the water. And you can see that the color rushes up the coffee filter and will start to dye the coffee filter that beautiful orangey red color. I'm gonna hold it here for several seconds just to absorb as much color as I can. You can hold it as long as you like and eventually you'll start to notice that the water is creeping all the way up to where we're holding it at the point. And when you get to that step, we're gonna take it out. We've got a nice little gradient here. And I'm going to take it over to my cup and I'm actually going to unfold it from the center. Fold it all the way like the full circle, and then drape it over our cup. I like to press it down just so as it dries, you'll have a nice flower shape at the end. So we're going to leave our coffee filters to dry on our cup for about five hours to overnight. And when you're done drying, they will look something like this. See a nice orangey reddish hue on our coffee filters and they'll be ready to turn into our poppies. To assemble our poppy, I cut out the center of one of my paper plates, and that is what we're going to glue our coffee filters on to have a stable base. So I'm just gonna take the individual layers of my poppies and glue them one by one onto my circle. So I'm gonna take my glue, put it in the center, be sure to leave the edges because we want this to kind of have a fluttery feel to the edges. My first layer, my poppy. Then put glue directly in the center again to put down my next layer. I think this one would be the nice second layer. And 
Then our third. Put this one down. And then our fourth. A little bit more glue. And our last and final layer. And there you have the base of our poppy. To finish up our poppy, we just need the dark center, the inside of the flower. So I'm just gonna cut out a pretty organic uh, circle. It does not have to be perfect because again, this is something that's found in nature. So it can look as not round or perfectly circular as you want. All right, I have a kind of oval, square-y kind of center to make our my poppy look a little bit more natural. Then I'm going to put a little bit of glue and put that right in the center. Oop. All right, I put a little bit all right, I put a little bit of glue on my oval and I'm gonna put that in the center of my poppy. All right, we are almost there. Now, if you want to stop here and just have your poppy be a flower, that is absolutely fine. But if you wanna add a stem, feel free. I'm gonna take my hole punch and instead of hole punching the uh, coffee filter, I'm going to hole punch the paper plate behind it. Just like that. And then I can attach my pipe cleaners to into that hole. Pop it through. Give it a little twist. And my poppy is ready. Here is my finished poppy. I absolutely love it. I would absolutely adore to see your creation. So feel free to share your poppies on social media and tag us with Calgary Museum so I can see all of your wonderful crafts. Thank you for joining me for Craft Corral. I really hope to see you all again soon. If you like this, please like it and share it on social media. And if you want more online content, feel free to go to our website. Thanks so much for joining me.